rockets and not making that. Well, it's funny because everybody thinks, oh, all these special rackets were made for you, and not really. And I mean, Derek from uh, Yonex can really talk about it too. Uh, Yonex would send down all different rackets to me uh, that they had for that season, and I would try them out. And uh, I and I really fell in love with this one racket. It was 130 inches, the head size was definitely bigger. But as a player, and I think anybody in this room, as soon as you pick up a racket, you know it's the right racket for you. Um, I think one of the biggest mistakes that we can do is to see if like, oh my gosh, so and so, a Federer is playing with this racket, I gotta play with this racket. And you gotta play with the racket that's best for you because remember for Federer or whoever, it's, 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 you have to know it, what racket fits your game. And if you're a backboard player, or if you're an uh, attack player, and for me it was always, I could, as soon as Yonix would send the racket, I could know this is the racket. And then if I felt we needed tweaking, then what's fantastic by Yonex is all their rackets are done in-house, in factory. So you know that every racket is the same. I used to, in my early stages of my career, I played with another racket for, for about uh, two years. And the problem uh, with that is that the, the rackets are sent out and every time it's done in different factories. So you can take, get a same bunch of rackets that do say the same thing, same model, but they're different because they're done in different factories. And this is one great thing that I always loved about Yonex, that the consistency is there in every single racket that you get. Um, and as a player, and for me as a type A personality, <laughs> um, that was a huge bonus.